I bought an OEM Scion radio off of a guy on Facebook. These little wiring harnesses will adapt the new style radio to the old style Toyota wiring harness. Alright, first things first, we have to get our lovely cassette adapter that I will no longer need out of the radio. Thank you for your service. All right, now I need to remove the ashtray and this whole thing. And then you gotta remove these pieces. And we'll have to take out this climate bezel, which is great because this cable came off. And then we can take this radio out and put the new one in. Ah. Okay, so it looks like you gotta push down on the top onto this. So I'll try that on the other side. Slide this down in like this. And then press down. Let's see if we learned it all from last time. Oh, I already scratched that. Alright, so now those are off. So in order to get this back on, there's a little loop of cable right here and there's a pin attached to this. And I'm just trying to get that back on real quick before I continue with the radio install. Just trying to bend the cable up so it doesn't come off. And it came off. All right, so at least that seems to be working, so. Oh, there's, uh, there's bolts in there. Got one of these 10 mil socket drivers. I'm just gonna take these little sockets out. Okay, the one on the right is the only one that does anything. That's kind of funny. Looks like this should just... Yep. Okay, these can come out now. There are screws right here. These screws go through the plastic and into the metal, so I just have to take these screws out. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I can see that the radio has a screw here and a screw right in there into the brackets. This totally feels cross-threaded. Somebody forced that in. That's unfortunate. Those don't want to come out. I'll just find a way around it, I guess. And that was the correct way to screw that in. Hopefully that's not true for the radio as well. I need like a regular screwdriver. These ones with the giant built-in washer are for the radio. So hopefully now I can get these screws out. Oh, so there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with the radio I'm taking out. It's just in Virginia in January, they banned talking on the phone while holding it. It's a hands-free state now. Sometimes for my job, I really like to be able to be on the phone in the car, and it's just, it's one reason I take the taco to work instead of the MR2 sometimes, but since the taco is gonna be completely down soon, I wanna make sure I can have a conference call in the car if I needed to. So this is one more daily mod before winter comes. Ooh, oh my goodness. That's interesting. Ha, there we go. I see an ohm on there, so. Uh, maybe the antenna? Why is it so rusty? And let's see, what's going on here? Do I gotta push up or pull down? Or do... Am I supposed to just twist this off or something? Or just pull? Oh, just pull! This is my first time ever doing a radio, by the way, in case this is funny to you, that I don't know what I'm doing. You're permitted to laugh. It did everything I needed to do. It's in okay condition, it's not perfect. It's a little dirty as you can see. Um, but if you need a cheap radio, let me know. I'm not gonna do anything with it. So we have a whole bunch of cables. This thing, which has uh, one of these and one of these. We've got this interesting thing, which has these and these. And then we've got this, which I'm guessing is like the main connection to the harness. 
um, and we're gonna just start plugging stuff into where it looks like it goes on the back of the radio because I don't know what any of this stuff is. First of all, um, this big connector is pretty obvious. It goes right here. This one is fairly obvious as well. It goes right in there. So found out one more connection. Uh, th this goes right in here. This old, this piece of the harness that we unplugged from the radio now plugs into this. I'm confused. The cable goes into this cable to your antenna. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. Where's the other bag? Aha. And here is the microphone kit. Hopefully this will explain all the things that I don't have plugs for. Double-sided tape and zip ties right from Toyota. Aha! This is the microphone adapter. Not sure where I'm gonna put it. In my truck, somebody mounted it up above the A-pillar on the left. I have no idea what this is for. Or if I need it. I think I don't. But I have no idea. Everything's plugged in, so we're gonna just do a little test before I actually commit. Uh, okay, um, let's see what I did wrong. All right, this cable, I don't know what it does. Let's make sure it's not this. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is it for? I have no idea. But at least it plugs into the radio somewhere. That's less confusing now. Still don't know what this is for. Uh, Guys, it would really help if I actually plugged the radio in to the car. All right, the smaller plug goes into the back over here on the uh, right side. And on the left side, we have this wider plug. Okay, I lied. The thicker plug totally goes into the like wider part of this like dongle back here. Um, so now that the radio is actually plugged in, I heard CD player noises. Oh! Power! Alright, throwing my contacts at it. This time it asked me for permission. Boom, and then it transferred my call history. Hello? Hi! Hi, what's up? How do I sound? Like you're in a car. Yeah? Yeah. In, in a good way? Or in a bad way? I mean, like, I can hear you and understand you. Okay. This is my, this is my new radio. Ooh, will it work now? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Fancy. Very fancy. fancy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. My nails are wet. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. So I found the pause button. It's the number one button, where it says play and pause, right there. Awesome. Now I gotta find a place to stick this, and I also need to move all the brackets and stuff off of the other radio onto this one. I know you must have loved that one camera angle for the last, uh, who knows how long in the video. Um, but we're going to be moving the camera now so that we can deal with this. Oh, I popped my back when I did that. I'm not old yet. <laughs> I had to plug this back in for a minute because I forgot the Utada CD. My wife would have killed me if I lost that. So, all I've got to do is take these four screws off on each side and then move the bracket to the other radio. Mutilated this Phillips screw. Too big, what is this, a nine? Yeah, so it's got to be an eight. Where is it? That's too big. There's eight. 
Oh, baby. That's it. All right, cool. Oh, why are these on so tight? Oh, you know what? It's because I have no leverage. It's because this has a small radius. All right. Take these off one side at a time from the thin side because they have little clips on them. So the radio is now stripped. I can leave this here with some of my other MR2 parts. Now I'm going to take all this hardware and bring it back over to the car and install the new radio uh, permanently. Take this bracket and slide it so that the four bolt holes are lined up and it should lay flush on the uh, casing. There should be a letter at the bottom that tells you which side the piece goes on. All right, so my camera died and I literally don't have time for that. It's legitimately just a PSP charger. It just so happens to work perfectly with my camera. This is not even a Sony camera, it's a Panasonic camera. I really need to speed this up, so prepare to not move for the entire rest of the video. Turn around just for you camera people. Uh, all right, that should be it. I'm gonna attach this little cable last because it's the tightest and it's connected to my phone, which is awesome. All right. I'm really happy that I now know more about how this dashboard is assembled. Feels good to learn your car. Shove this back in there as best we can. Over up top. Put it flat and then slide it up. Bolts and put it back in. Go. Where were these? I gotta watch back the tape. Oh, it's starting to get dark. This wasn't supposed to take all day, although I did start like 10 hours later than I meant to. And this pin goes into this hole that you can't see. So right here, there is a hole. Oh, okay, there we go. This is back together, so I can put this in again. That sounded like compressor surge on that diesel truck that just went by. Okay, this dial still doesn't do anything. So I do have a problem with my dials, and that is simply that there isn't enough light underneath the car. So right there, that little protrusion is the blend door actuator. And as you can see, the steel cable has come off. There's the steel cable is actually completely bent. So even when I try to stick it back on, it just bends the cable over and over again. So I need to get a new steel cable, another mission to make this thing a better daily driver. And with that, I need to mount the microphone somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going to do that. I needed to plug the cigarette lighter back in, but everything else should be done. Um, if you're still around, thanks for watching the entire video. Um, sub if you want to see any more content with the MR2, I do autocross, daily mods. The Tacoma needs a new power steering rack because it's just peeing power steering fluid all over the place. I've also got a Kawasaki Ninja if you're into bikes. Thanks for watching, thanks for being cool. It's getting cold so I'm not sure how many more car videos I'm going to shoot. As you can see I work in, in a gravel driveway uh, with no garage at all so um, uh, if, you, if you want me to work in the cold, you know, I might do it, but I will need some positive encouragement. So leave comments, leave likes, uh, hit the sub, uh, whatever you want to do to engage, to tell me that I'm doing a good job and that you want to see more. Thank you. Peace.